Let's go. Welcome back. Sun. Day. Night. Hope you're having a lovely. Sunday night. I've got a chessboard. I'm going to play some five minute blitz. Well, let's go. And we have a French defense. You know me. You love playing that Steinitz attack. It looks like this. Pre move here. Pre move here. Hopping with the bishop. Let's see. Bishop here. Nope, dropping the bishop back, pre-moving this castle. Removing this d4. Wasn't quite a pre-move. The bishop's a little silly, but you imagine the pawn's gonna get pushed at some point. Um and this bishop's a little silly. I'm going to just fianchetto this bishop. Let's go. Bishop stepped out of the way, remaining on this diagonal. Giving the queen more scope on the d file. Can I push this pawn? No, pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. It works out well for my opponent. I can allow pawn takes, knight takes. That's okay. I'm going to bring the rook here, and then maybe... Uh, bishop here to support this attack and the square control on this e4. When it's going for this very cave in style mate. Knight for the moment, the knight defends. But the knight might come in too, adding more pressure here. Yeah, and you have to be careful when pushing this pawn to try to block these types of things because of the, then there's light square weaknesses. However, I do have a light square bishop. So it wouldn't be terrible. So, what to play? Yeah, I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna play this way. And then probably bishop drop back here and then putting the bishop on this long diagonal to uh counter this bishop on this beautiful diagonal. So we're out of the opening stage of the game. Uh materials even. Only one pawn has come off the board, all the minor pieces, all the rooks, the queens are there. If I take here, it's easy to calculate, bishop takes. If not, knight takes, queen takes, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm going to stick to plans. So I'm going to bring this bishop onto this long diagonal. And pre-moving here, if knight takes. Okay. Always looking at this, pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes. All these pieces are defending here. This is not working out in my favor. Yeah, sticking to plans, putting the bishop on this diagonal. Now my rooks are connected. So my opponent has a bishop pair and a knight. I have a bishop pair and a knight. Where's this queen going? Queen's just coming here. Yeah, keeping eye on the knights, you can imagine if this knight this knight were to move somewhere all kinds of pressure on this knight it's only defended by the bish next i'd like to bring this rook on a to d1 uh yeah rook a d1 okay but briefly do i have to worry about this no not so much so yeah rook a d1 if knight comes here queen comes here opponent doesn't play that so this d4 pawn has been in contention for so long. It's attacked twice now. It's defended four times by the bishop, the rook, the queen, the knights. But again, it's hard to push. I can't push because pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop or rook takes. I'm not exactly sure what to do. I'm just going to make this, it looks like a threatening move, bringing the queen onto the g file. But it doesn't have any support. No one's really helping this queen. But perhaps if I can get this in, sacking the pawn here. Okay, no time now because my pawn is, or the pawn is questioning the knight. The queen, queen just comes here. But again, this could work because now there's coordination this way. Be happy to give up this pawn to uh, spoil this pawn structure. Grab a pawn. When it sees all that, drops the queen back. But now I'm going to 
Yeah, bring the queen here with the coordinating ideas after this pawn sacrifice. Okay, do you have to take here? But now I don't have to worry about this light square bishop anymore. Yeah, just dropping the bishop back. Seems good. Should be good. It's good. Maybe I can kick this knight, but again, this is what I really want to do. But I guess I have to kick the knight first. No point in sacking the pawn if there isn't coordination with the queen. Yeah. Kicking a knight, this seems like a passive move. Stepping behind your pawn. You usually want to put rooks on semi-open files or open files. Uh, where's the queen going? Queen's got to go somewhere. Queen's going here. I'm not worried about this. We can just take here. Just keeping the queen over on the king's side. Anytime you have a queen close to your king, you always get a little nervous. And I think it's a little more possible to make a mistake. So you have to consider this. Bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Grabbing another pawn. I'm never worried about this because the queen is in front. So yeah, I'm going to go for this idea. Removing here, pawn takes, rook takes. Now my opponent has this isolated E pawn. Okay, I don't want to trade queens. So, just bringing the queen here. And again, still hoping to get this in. But maybe I want to double rooks on the E file first. But time is an issue. Down a minute and a half. Can I play this? Not so easy. I'm going to... Yeah, this is defended three times. The rook, the queen, and the bish. It's attacked twice, only by the pawn and the rook. Uh, yeah, I can grab this now, can't I? Okay, this is loose. This comes a check. It's always risky to push pawns on the king's side, because you can't, or on anywhere, because pawns can't go backwards once they're pushed, and it creates some weaknesses around the king. But this is also a weakness, this pawn. Um... No, grabbing this way. And I have ideas of pushing, getting coordination here with Bishop and the Queen. So 54 seconds. This Rook is in, but the Rook isn't doing anything. Do you have to move the Bishop? Rook may snack on this pawn. But then I feel like this could be a threat. Okay, just dropping back. A bit passive. May see Rook taking this pawn. But yeah, I want to push this pawn. This is a past E pawn. There are no pawns that can stop this pawn. There are no adjacent pawns on the adjacent file. Files. Yeah, I even feel like I can take this queen. I don't think there's anything else. Can mm -hmm. I save the queen? I don't have time. I just don't have time. I wish I had more time to think about it, but I'm going to take here and push this pawn. So we have a runner. 34 seconds. Check him if you got him. If king steps over, now this bishop finally comes to life. Grabbing here. I'd love to land this bishop here. But maybe first taking this pawn? Or just... Okay, I don't have time to think about it. 27 seconds. But yeah, I'd love to land this here. Okay, finally landing this here. Now... Somehow, let me rook here, rook here, yeah, rookie cookie here, rook here, rook here, or rook this way. 23 seconds, going after the bish. Where's the bishop going? Bishop's coming here. Oops, sorry about that. Bishop's coming here. The bishop's not going here, that's a thing. Okay, pinning the bish. Oops, now I'm going to bring this rook here. Note, okay, the rook can come here depending, but I just grab, okay, remote. Uh, yeah, check, 17 seconds. Uh, yeah, doubling. Check. Mm, check. Mm, check. And then pushing this, oh, okay. Okay, there's no mate. <laughs> There's no check here. 
The king's gonna run to safety. I'm just gonna put in this pre-move. In this pre-move. In this pre-move. And oops, this pre-move. And this pre-move. And this pre-move. This pre-move. This pre-move. Pre Let's go. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Cheers.